have got some true fabulous entertainment in store for you today. We have music, we have dancing, we have special guests from far and wide. And now, put your hands together for Disney Holidays in Hollywood! <laughs> to be co-hosting this magical musical show for all of you tonight. Bonjour! Yes, tis moi! <laughs> the greatest gift of all this holiday season. It must be such an honor for all of you to have moi here tonight. Uh, uh, Piggy, I said the honor was ours. Huh? Oh, <laughs> right. I suppose it is an honor for you and the rest of the cast, too. Well, look at me! I'm just honored everyone here with my presence tonight. But I guess that's the spirit of the holidays, isn't it? Uh, sure, uh, let's go with that. Uh, but when I think about what the holidays mean to me, it's sharing the magic of the season with the ones we love most. Aww, and that's why you're here with moi tonight, isn't it, Kermie? <laughs> well, uh, you see, uh, <clears throat> we're here because, uh, because we were both invited. Uh, yes, and because there's no better place to spend the holiday season than Walt Disney World! Sure, dear. Well, when 
I think about what Christmas means to me, I think about presents. Really? Just presents? There's so much more to the holiday season than gifts, isn't there? Well, sure, but come on! We're literally standing in a pile of presents! Clothes, shoes, and toys for all the little piggies and froggies out there who dream of being just like you and Wong! I really think that you're missing out on the best parts of the holidays. Sure, this is the season of giving. Ah, the season of giving me gifts. Pretty sure that's receiving. But what I'm trying to say is that some gifts don't come in boxes and pretty paper. That's a great point, Kermit. And maybe all those children out there are looking for the kind of gifts that live inside here. Yeah, like Kermit's warm heart and generosity. For your... Your bold sense of self-confidence, Miss Piggy. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for noticing. Wait, who are you again? Uh, these are just a couple of friends who've come to help us put on a great show this evening. Come on, everybody. Toyland, Toyland, fill up your hearts with Joyland. We hope this season spirit brings you everything you need. Everyone. Whoa, whoa, hold it, Bob. Where do you think you're taking us? Oh, <laughs> well, we have to make sure these presents make it home in time for Christmas. Yeah, that makes sense, but uh, we're kind of in the middle of a production here. Oh, <laughs> I don't make the rules. I'm just the talent. Wait, you are the talent? Yes, Piggy. This is... <laughs> Kiana. And... Bobby. And there are our fellow co-hosts for this evening. Our fellow what? How many hosts does this show need? How big is your trailer? Yours didn't come with a jacuzzi with it because I explicitly asked for one and I did not get one. We'll be back, folks. Uh, probably. Okay, come on, Piggy. We better start digging our way out of here. You did. I'm a rock. <laughs> what do we got here? And we are out. For that commercial, folks. <laughs> This program is brought to you by Goofy's Candy Company, your one-stop shop for stocking stuffers this holiday season. Have you ever had one of those days where you... Good just... evening, everyone. We are so glad you have decided to join our live studio audience for this holiday TV special. Yes, we are. And you know what? We just heard Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy talk about what the holidays mean to them. And to be honest, I think Miss Piggy was on to something about presents. So, in the spirit of giving, I would like to give you all the gift of stand-up comedy. <laughs> no, 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 Bobby. We don't have that kind of time. It's not that long of a commercial. We're back in four, three, two. Let's talk about it a little. Welcome back, everyone. You know, when I was growing up, my family moved around a lot. So we spent Christmas in different places all over the country. Every year it was somewhere new. New York, Chicago, New Orleans. New Orleans? <laughs> my grandma, she grew up in New Orleans. She used to tell me all sorts of amazing stories about Christmas time down there. The bonfires, the smell of Creole food wafting out of every restaurant. She said on Christmas Eve, the best Réveillon dinner in all of New Orleans was at Tiana's Palace. Palace. Oh, she's so right. That place has the best beignets, and it's such a party at Christmas time. Ooh, I could just imagine. <laughs>
Naveen, Mama, Lord and Lewis, and Santa, of course. There's nothing like the smell of warm cookies still in the air. I always like to make those frosted sugar ones my daddy used to love. And the spicy ginger snacks. And those special pecan fralings you can always get down in New Orleans. You know, when I was just a little girl, my daddy taught me each and every one of those recipes. We'd spend all day baking together. And then we'd wait up for Santa. And I always fell asleep before he got there, of course. But you know, every year, I got just what I need. Up on the housetop, reindeer boys. Out on the old Santa Claus. Down through the chimney with lots of toys. All for the little ones, Christmas toys. to you by Figgy Pudding. What is it? We don't really know, but we know you won't go until you get some. So try some today. Wait, Kermit, what is that on your head? Uh -oh. Mm -hmm. uh oh, it's a Santa hat, Figgy. I know that. Where did it come from? If this show has costume changes, I think someone in wardrobe would have told me. Trust me, I know. Anyway, I just found this hat backstage. Well, that just won't do. I didn't have any time to accessorize between numbers, and I refuse to be upstaged. I could never upstage you, Biggie. Listen, how about I make it up to you by getting you a churro and a spirit jersey after the show? Eh, throw in a giant pretzel and you got a deal. Done. Now we're talking. Aren't they just the best? And now, as a special treat for all of you in our live studio audience, please give it up to our house band, the Jolly Eight! <laughs>
in three, two. And now, please give a warm Jollywood welcome to our most special guests, Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. the snow just makes you want to run outside and look for a Christmas tree. Say, I know, I'll go out right now and get the best tree I can find and take it over to surprise Minnie. I know she doesn't have one yet and, well, she loves to decorate for Christmas. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on her face. Oh, this weather just makes you want to cozy up inside and start decorating for the holidays. Hmm, I know. I bet I can put up all these decorations before Mickey gets here and surprise him with a whole house full of TV special with all of you is a gift I will always cherish. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. We're making memories, memories that we'll never forget. And we're back in four, three, two. This time of year, the greatest gift we can give is something you won't find on the shelf. It's something we find in each other. Let's be honest, the world we live in can be a little more than chilly, but the belief that better days are coming, that's what counts. The greatest gift of all is hope.
mean to me? Peace and warmth. Oh, yeah. Friends, family, our tradition, singing our favorite songs. Let's do it! <laughs> yeah.
in her 